Hi guys! Oh my gosh, so today I'm going to try out the new set I just recently picked up from Tonic uh, for the Terrific Typewriter die set. So, any links I have in the description box would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. This is a new release. They have a bundle with the Picture Perfect, which is like a little camera. Um, but today we're going to work with this guy, I think, because I am super excited to get to it. Um, there is a separate... So if you do the bundle, it has that camera set, it has this, and then it has the uh, little stamp set. It's photopolymer, that's what they work in always, and um, it has like a little keyboard, so if you just want to cut that or put that in there, birthday wishes, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Get Well, uh, I love you, congratulations. Oh my gosh, I had a huge yawn. I've been up since like 4, and then I finally got out of bed, and it was like 5.15, and then I was like laying around a little bit, doing some comments, you know, checking things, and I'm like, I just need to... I'm just going to get to it. So here I am. <laughs> congratulations, and you're my type of friend. So, um... You can pick this up separately, but in the bundle, it comes with a bundle. And that is it, that about that. So what we're going to do is open this up, different portions. It says that the largest die, and I always mention this, and I think they have this information on their site, so just always, whenever you order from them, make sure, you know, it's going to fit in your machine. And like I said, I think on the website, they at least have the front and the back, like if you click the link, you'll see these images there, along with, you know, whatever other images they have, uh, samples and things. Um, and you, you'll be able to see what the largest size is. And it's 4.8 inches by 3, so, you know, almost almost 5 inches by 3. And um, it looks like this little rolly dial thing moves the paper up and down, at least that's what I understand. I know they had, like, a memory dex, Rolodex thing that's always, it's just done, they're, you know, sold out. Super cute, and it was before I was really into that kind of thing. And I was like, ah, oh, I wish I would have gotten that. But this kind of reminds me of that mechanism, I suppose. Uh, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm just trying to open this up. So what happens with their packaging is it has like a little lip and then it's glued together. So this is the back part and this part curl, cur <laughs> it has a score line that's bent over and that's where it's glued together and I always try to keep it as nice as I can so I'm going to try to open this real carefully and I'll be right back. I a ruler earlier but bone folders usually help so I just get in kind of the corner and then I'll keep trying to push through. And again if you're going to end up putting this in you know something else it doesn't really matter but of course, I use the bone folder that's nice and pristine more than this one. This one <laughs> this one has some stuff. I think some alcohol will probably take that off. It's just gooeyness, and now I put gooeyness in that one, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. And then again, if it has a little plastic cover, which this one doesn't because it's completely covered, so that's good. A lot of times they'll have a little plastic cover that's attached by a little tab here, and so if you want to keep that all together, make sure to grab the plastic sh carrier sheet and pull it up. Oh, this is so sweet. So we have a keyboard inlay. Again, if you want to just do the stamps or um, however you want to work that, you know, the keyboard part is an inlay. There's this outer part, um, just the outer die that makes that rectangle there so you can play with it different ways. And then this portion here is this portion here of the, of the um, typewriter. We have just a note, and hello, and those are like embossed pieces. And I think, yeah, that goes kind of in the front here, possibly. Eh. Well, at least the inlay part of it does. This is another section. And then we have this portion here with the cute little, um, the little area. I always forget what that's called. You know, I collect keyboard, uh, keyboards. No, not keyboards. <laughs> typewriters. And a lot of times I have to do my own little work on them. And so I do know the names for a lot of these things, but then I forget. So anyway, it's just where the striking, where the keys uh, strike, right? Um, just in this area here. And then there's like a little decoration inlay, if you want to use that. A little outer portion. I mean, this is, this is basically this top part here. As you can see, there's different portions here where things come out. So we have those dies that cut that. We have the word happy birthday. Um, again, it looks like this is the actual piece that they used for right here. A little inlay, it just fits there for packaging. Uh, left and right, which is really nice, instead of just being the one piece and then putting it backwards on the other side, right? So there's a left and right side of the typewriter with the little hole with the inlay, again with the outer die. Excuse me. Uh, the little uh, return, the little carriage return, you know, you go, and you're like, zoot, and it goes back. Um, other pieces that help you, you know, work the little thing is for the knobs on the side, some decoration there. Uh, I'm assuming this is the back panel, because I don't see where else it would go other than, yeah, back here. And it has for you, and just, this is so cute. Actually, you could use this on a card, a little quick note card. Um, look at it. it has a little for you inlay. It has an oval. It has this background one that makes another um, matte layer with a little etching. I don't know if you can see it there. And then, um, 
and it cuts out its own shape, right? It has an edge. And then this one is all fancy. It's an inlay for this larger die. And then the larger, larger die. Um, again, something that looks very similar to this, so of course we will figure out where we're going to put that. Um, and then the bottom, right? The base of the typewriter. And this looks very much like the same return, so I don't know if they have two pieces so that you can layer them up. Are they exactly the same? That would be really nice because I was wondering, you know how it's just sticking out there, so this is to make it a little stronger. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Well, that's really, that's a nice detail. And then, uh, again, that little rotating lever knob thing, which might have to do with this. We'll see if it's to do what it's supposed to do. Um, and then the little flowers. So sweet. I really like that look. I know Spellbinders has their typewriter with different things, and um, obviously it's different. It's not 3D like this, but really sweet, and they have all those beautiful flowers and palms. Anyhow, um, and then here we have the uh, the keyboard, or key set, however you want to call it, but um, that gives you the impression, oh my gosh, like on here, uh, you see how they're just impressed in there, so that's really cute, and I think I probably will do that because I like the look of that today, but again, if you want to do the stamping it, you know, you can stamp it, um, and then on this regular part, this portion here, and then you still do an inlay portion, and then through the inlay you'll see these little keys. Or just leave it all flat if that's what you want, but I think it looks nicer having the little extra bit on top. Um, okay, so, oh here, here's a good example of the, oh that's really precious too, my goodness, oh I don't want to do that, I don't know. <laughs> this is super cute you guys, and I don't know if you can see, in the back it opens up, so um, oh, that's what these little tab pieces are for. You put one at the bottom, one at the top, and then that's where you kind of um, put your little ribbon through. But anyway, all right. Um, let's see what the instructions say or what they actually talk about here. Yeah, yeah, so you're making that inner tube so that those little windy bits. And, you know, it's, in my opinion, I think it's going to be pretty simple because you're basically just cutting the pieces and then adhering them together like this, and then you put your rolly piece in put your little paper with a little something stamped if you'd like on there and um, you know adhere it so we will uh, get to it I do like a little vintagey old school look I love the colors they used here in this example but let me just grab a few things I think I'm gonna make the base black just because it pops and I think that's really gorgeous and of course I like gold so <laughs> we'll see um, maybe I'll go with the silver or something I don't know I'm going to grab some paper and I'll be right back. So just to start the very base, I'm going to use this black 300 GSM paper. And I am actually starting to run low on that. Let me grab some more. Um, okay, so we need one of either of those guys, right? And just the outer die right now, what we're using is like this. We're not doing the decorative part. So I'm just going to do the base thing. And I'm probably I'm going to decorate before we actually shape it, but... Um, which will be really fun because I just like the way it looks all put together and then you kind of bring it in. So we need those guys, um, one of each. Uh, one of course of the very bottom. Um, we have one and it shows you this guy and I'm assuming that is this one. That's the only one that's like that. It's that back piece. Um, three, okay so there's two different uh, little turnier things, right? There's this one that has that little line in it, and then there's this one, and I want to say they're the same. Eh, this one's a little bit shorter. So, yeah. So this little shorter one, we need three We need three of both of them. It doesn't matter. So I guess let's just say that. So we need both of these. We need three of each of those. And then we need the plate, uh, the key cover, um, I might hold off on these smaller pieces for now because I just don't want to, you know, keep tracking them while we do this other larger part. So we need one of this and one of this. And what's interesting is that that's even cut out in it already. Um, so I suppose that depends on how you want to make this because honestly, if you don't want that being cut right now into that shape, you know what I'm saying, like this, and you just want to build it up, then you can do that. You don't have to cut it into that area so I think I'm gonna build mine up afterwards so for now I just need this outer piece and this is uh, let me see one other thing about that because although we have that I might need something else here actually that's for the little decoration on top yeah okay all right it does cut see this little piece right here that's in belt in like embedded that cuts that little slit 
where your paper comes out of okay so we don't need to do anything about that like i said i'm going to leave that out but maybe later once i have done one and see how delicate it feels maybe i will leave it open because it's very cute um but it's going to leave very delicate little pieces that i don't you know i just don't want to uh do that right now uh and then one of the plate now they are showing you here the plate with the holes i'm not going to put the holes in the plate right now so i'm going to leave that for later um and yeah as far as this knob pieces we'll we'll cut those pieces later i'm not going to do that right now so i'm going to get all these basic ones cut again one 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 pretty much everything is one yeah everything's one piece other than these guys we need three of each and i'll be right back I'm just going to show you, you know what I do, I always just load up my paper as much as I can. Well, if I'm going to use my tangerine, all right, or a larger machine. And as I went to do this, I remembered I ran out of my best craft tape ever. And of course, I had one on order already because I knew I was getting low. <laughs> so we're just going to do this here. And um, yeah, I'll just tape everything down. And I think that's the best maximization of this piece of paper. And then I'll do more of these pieces that need three of, like in this bottom area. Um, this big guy didn't quite get it. Um, oh, and you know what? I was going to say, it might be too big for my donut still right now, because I think the last time I was already using this before I put it in my donut. So, oh well. We'll wait on the donut. <laughs> and this is from Daiso. People ask all the time where I get my donut dispenser. And I don't really mention it because they're hardly ever in stock anymore. I don't know if they even make that one. They do have a My Melody one and some other ones. But anyway, I'm just going to tape these guys down so they don't move and run it through all pretty much at once and as many pieces that I can get, you know, that's how I do it. And I will be back. I was just putting my dies back in place. So basically right now we're going to be using not these guys. And this, honestly, I got it all done in four rolls because that first one was full of everything and then I did a second one on the same page of this little guy because that fit. And then when I did this larger one, I did again another little chubby, the chubbier one and then the thinner one. And then I still needed one more thin one. So four rolls and everything is ready to go. And so we're not going to use these guys quite yet. So I'm going to put those to the side. And literally all we're doing right here is gluing all these cute things. So what I'm going to do, like, obviously that doesn't need any scoring. This has some scoring. Let me see. Well, you know, let's put, mm, let me score the glue tabs at least. And that'll kind of help me. Because like this one, as you can see over here, actually, it's going to score down like this. But maybe we can do that later. But that's okay, I'm still going to score it. And then this guy. This is the front of this part. So, glue tabs. I'm always scoring them in. This one's going to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit out like this, right? <laughs> to meet up with this part. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So I'm going to take a moment and go to all the different score lines. And again, if you want, you know, bring out your bone folder with that sticky one I just used <laughs> and give them really good creases. You know, it just makes your project that much sharper looking. I hardly ever take the time to pull this guy out. But again, glue tabs in. Okay, on all of them in this base piece too, they're going to go in or back. All right, that's the last one I have to do. Just back, back, back. Okay. Now, I am going to put everything... Okay, this is interesting what they're showing here. This is that bottom piece, right? So the die went in like this. This is the rough side. So I'm going to put the rough side facing up. Um, it doesn't really matter, but just <laughs> you're going to take your pieces and glue this one with the nice side facing out. So again, all the nice sides are facing down, basically, so that this comes up here and then the other one over here. So however you want to glue this together, like your preference... Um, is great so I'm just going to do this and I think I was just thinking like why don't I ever score the things I think what it is is that sometimes when you're putting something together right if you definitely score it like you're giving it a really harsh line and then later on what if you need to fudge it a little bit you know what if you need a little zhuzh or a little something but you already made that line really definite because that happens when you're making things handmade right it might be that you need a little bit more of this way a little bit more that way and and your line is so definite so I don't know that's just kind of why I don't do that, I guess. <laughs> but uh, but some people do, and I'm sure, like I showed you, it looks really nice and crisp and everything. 
I know, I'm just lining this up basically right at the edge. I always try to be right on the edge of the score line. And, you know, if I need to bring it up a little bit here, I'll do that. And so if it was flat, it would be flat, but at the same time when you open it up, it's going to be nice. So I'm going to keep holding that and massaging that until it's set up. And then I'll do the same thing. Sorry, I'm hoping you're saying that there's glue tab, glue tab, glue tab is in the back for this little guy. That back piece that we cut. And then this guy. So I'm going to glue this one on, same as I just did over here on this side. And then I will be right back. I don't know why I just got in the habit of holding things up when I work with them. But honestly, I mean, you can just line this up as it's flatter on this side and just push it down. <laughs> but of course, I hold things up in the air and I'm like, whatever is more comfortable for you. For me, it's mostly because I'm filming it. I just want to make sure you're seeing exactly what we're doing here. But on this last one, you guys, just as much as you want to decorate this or not, I mean, this is really fast. <laughs> I guess because uh, recently I've been making a lot of things like the Tiffin box or like that cookie jar where um, it takes a little uh, a little more time. But even for those projects, it, they worked up really fast. After I did that first Tiffin box, I think it only took like, what, an hour and a half? This one probably took maybe an hour, probably less, because I was just, I, you know, I'm not on camera, I'm not talking about it, I know what I was doing, and it just uh, worked up really fast. Cookie jar was really quick, too. You guys, I have so many cute things sitting around me right now. <laughs> I have like a little tip and box that I'm checking out. I have my little jar over here. I have my little uh, Oriental Lights case right here. And, you know, these look so pretty waiting to be gifted. Okay, we're keeping everything flat right now. And if you wanted to flatten everything out, that's fine. Of course, we have our glue tabs. But So, hope you can see this is looking like this. And then the next thing we need is... Let's see where we're at. Where are we at? Oh, this is at the end. That's interesting. Oh, because it, you know why? Because it comes around this way. Up, up, up keyboard and then finally the spot that has the paper coming out right so um, this time we're gonna take this piece which is the keyboard piece and again I just kind of line it up I always line it from the inside first kind of give it a zhuzh get that glue kind of moving around a little bit hey that was pretty great lining up that was like perfect so if I lay it down, all I'm going to do is flatten that out. I'm going to let that set up. I always check again just to make sure because sometimes things move like that did move a little bit. I want it back over here. I'm going to let that set up just a little bit, but actually while it's still there. And then this is our last tab. And it's going to glue right here, the piece that has the little... And again, this one's going to end up kind of coming around and coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it that way because I don't want to do it after when it's glued down. So I'm giving it a fold upwards, which is not normal. Usually we fold things back, right? And this way, again, all the right sides are facing down right now. So anything on the pretty die side is facing down. We're looking at the backs of everything right now. And... That looks really good. Again, this is going to be like that. How cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to set up real nice, and then we'll move on to making the um, <laughs> the roller, which in a typewriter is called a platen, but, and then with the platen knobs. But this is on the inside. And usually on the typewriter you can see it, right, where you put your little paper. But anyway, um, so I don't know if they consider it a platen. We'll just call it a roller for today. Okay, so we have our kind of a framed out piece. I'm going to put that over here. And now we're going to work with what they're calling inner tubing. Inner tube and then the outer tube. So it does say uh, to create the inner tube by gluing the three th inner tube die cuts together. It doesn't say thinner tube. It says inner tube. But it is the thinner one. So like you can see this, these are thicker than this. And this one's a little bit, like just a little bit longer. Um, and if I'm wrong, we'll go back and fix that. Where's my other one? I can see I can feel it. I can feel it. Anyway, I'll find it. <laughs> my third. We'll find it. 
Uh, but for now, we're going to take these, uh, the thin ones. And I'm going to give them a little bit of a scoring, even though, you know, I just like to score things first. So I'm going to take these guys and score them up. And I will okay. be right back. I have my pieces here. And we're going to do the other set pretty much the same way. You're going to score them and then glue them together. But we're not going to glue them together at the very end. I'll just talk about that in just a minute. But um, So these three guys. And I was looking at the picture. It looks like these three, you can just leave these little tabs alone. Maybe they can face in. But the outside ones are the ones that are going to face out. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, I hope. <laughs> I hope that's the case. Uh, so for right now, I'm not really messing with those little tab ends. But we are just going to glue this together. So one after the other after the other, and then the last one together to make a tube, right? And again, things like this, I'm holding it up in the air again. I mean, you can definitely just keep them flat like this together, as long as they're lined up. You can flatten it out so that they stay in place. So I'm just holding those together till it sets up, and then I'll bring in the other guy and add it to this glue tab and then I'll be back when we go to make it into a roll, okay? It's a little bit wet, but open that up a little bit and then the last one's here to here. So, again, I kind of flare this out just a little bit so I'll be wanting to touch the paper instead of push back away from it. And we're gonna bring this guy over. And I'm just going to hold the very edges until I feel like they're set up and then I'll work my way in a little bit to make sure that it's touching in the center. And you could probably flatten this out. Well, let me see. There's three of them. Six sides. You should be able to flatten it out if you wanted to, like, push it closed flat so you can really adhere that center. But like I said, I'm going to hold it so that these edges touch real well and then, like, put a tool in there that helps me make sure it's all touching and centered touching that center part <laughs> I was just like where is that third piece and I was like well I guess I'm gonna cut another one and then I just uh, saw it down here which is very weird because I don't even know how it went over there okay <laughs> so there it is so we're gonna leave this piece alone and we're basically gonna do the same thing with this one but um, I am gonna go ahead and score it because that's what I like to do um, and then I'm gonna glue them together one after the other and then I'll be right back. Okay, just like I did on the other one. Okay, just finished gluing this one. Well, not this one, this one. <laughs> and so before, on this one we're not gonna glue it together in a tube like we did to this one. I always going to shape it better. But what we're gonna do here is cut off one of these extra pieces. And I guess you could have done that on your, you know, trimmer or something before you even stuck it on here. But that's what they're saying to do. Cut this one off, not the one with the tab because we still need... Actually, it's kind of weird. You don't really need the tab end, but I, it, I'm assuming the tab will help you kind of keep it a little bit tight. So I'm going to do what they're showing. But if it were up to me, I would cut the tab end off. But uh, we're going to cut in here. Okay, so we got rid of one of these guys. So now it has a little five panels. Because this is going to wrap around this, but you need to leave it open so your little paper can stick out through here. And then the little knob turner will turn this inside piece where your paper is stuck. Now... We are not going to do this part quite yet because um to put it together because I need to decorate my my little my little guy. So I'm not going to do that yet. So what we're going to do now is cut some of the um, decorative panels. Okay. Okay, guys. I think these are going to be my accent colors. Let me put this aside. Um, I have this pearlescent cream that I always end up grabbing whenever I think I'm grabbing white paper or just cream colored paper, and it's just a very soft pearlescent, uh, maybe Crafter's Companion. I don't know. I've had this for a really long time and I just pull it out and I don't know what the packaging, you know, how they're like that plastic. This one happened to happen in, I happen to have in the packaging. This is copper mine. I thought, you know, that might be fun because it looks gold, but it is a little coppery color. So we'll use that. And I think I can put in the knob thing before we do the other parts, but I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this a little bit flat before we move on with that. So let me stick this back on here. A little better so there's a couple different things you know we're looking at here um, I kind of we'll do the stamping I don't know how that's uh, gonna take on that pearlescent paper but we'll try it so I'm going to use this guy and this guy My goodness. You know, just, <laughs> I'll just so bad the last few days and like there's always something in there something in there all right um sorry about that guys so i think what we'll do we'll we'll do the impression plate 
no, we're, we're going to stamp, we're going to stamp, so I can put the gold on top, so, a lot of gold, um, I'm going to stamp that, the uh, stamp on this pearlescent paper, so for now, I'm not going to do anything about that, but when we do it, all we're going to do is use this outer die to cut it out, so when I get to that, but for this one, I'm going to use this with the inlay that has the little keyboard, of course, on this copper mine paper, I'm also going to cut, like, the accent pieces, I suppose, uh, right now, so this guy, maybe not the one that goes in the front quite yet, but this guy, I'm looking at the pieces that we lay down, um, and then, where is, oh, yeah, this one, <laughs> I was like, where is this little buddy, again, the background colors I'm going to use, um, other than that creamy color being under here, I'm going to use that creamy color, so, like, if I need this, I'm going to cut it out from that creamy color, but then I'm also going to do the inlays, right, tape them down with these inlays, and run it through the copper mine paper. Um, I think I do like the way the little uh, key striking area looks like this. So what I'll do with that one is again run it through the cream color paper with just this, and then run it through the black paper with the inlay. Okay, so obviously tape those down so they don't move on the inlay. Um, these side pieces again, I'm just going to run this through the cream colored paper, both of them, and then with the inlay through the copper mine paper. Um, Oh, and then we have this piece that goes in the back. You know, this has quite a few things, and it's really pretty, but I think to start off, I'll go ahead and do that. Cream-colored paper, <laughs> then the inlay of the copper mine here, and then we'll see what we're going to do with the rest of this, because it has a lot going on. And I think that is it for right now. Uh, we'll talk about the little, all these other things later, okay? So I'll be right back. as well as I can and everything just comes right up <laughs> so nice um, okay so I do have one other piece I was gonna run through that black piece so let me do that the piece for the this guy with the inlay and through black paper and I'll be right back <laughs> oh my gosh you know this is that 300 GSM paper and it just feels super sturdy even these little lines feel like awesome take that out take that out okay and before we keep moving on, I'm going to stamp this. I'm trying to think what paper I want to use or what ink. A lot of times hybrid inks work really well with something that you think is going to be slippery like this, so maybe I should try that. And I might have to do it a couple times because hybrid inks, I don't know if you've noticed, or maybe it's just me, they're a little drier than other inks. Not like powdery, but something like that, in my opinion, I feel like. Sorry about that. I just realized I started do -do -do doing everything I'm doing. You know, I got the kids ready, I got them to school, and then um, it was a tonic lunch, but with the time change, it's not at 8 a.m. right now. Oh, it smells so good. Pacific Standard, it's uh, 9, so I was like, okay, I'll keep working on this video, because, you know, I paused to get, you know, the kids going and all that. And, um... And I just realized, I'm like, oh, I was only supposed to do a couple things and then go, <laughs> go launch the video. Which I did not do. I'm just here chilling. So, it's a few minutes late. Sorry, guys, for the picnic party. But, anyway. I don't know when I'll release this video either, so... <laughs> Anyhow. Okay. Um, so, inking that up. Again, these inks are a little dry. They're just a little different. I mean, I can tell already that that's not, like, oh, super... And I am pushing this hard. It is a photopolymer stamp set, so it's a little... Look at it. But I was just kind of afraid if I use any other ink, it might just run around. Maybe I should use stays on. But they are a little dry. They're just a little different to work with. So 
So I'm just going to build it up. It looks like in the center it's not really getting. All right. So just like in here. I need a little more in this area here. <laughs> I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Well, let me try again. Just adding a little more ink, and maybe I'm not adding enough. Right here. Okay, well, it's a little bit better. How cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, I'm gonna clean that off. And oh, I am also gonna run through real quick this guy, this little kind of hexagon shape, um, because I think this is what kind of grounds it on the outside of our. Little guy, I think this goes out here. I think. Um, maybe it goes on the inside. Either way, I'm going to cut it out in black because I want that black, okay? okay? So I will be right back. So I think I'm just going to run this through. Um, maybe we can kind of see where we're at, I guess. It goes this way. <laughs> that way you have an idea of where our little rectangle should go. Of course, this needs to be flattened out and all that. That is so cute because it really just looks like there's like... I have to stop talking. This was <laughs> My goodness. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I don't know if I can fit that one in, especially because my little... I ran it through the marquee and it gave it a little, a little warp. So what I'm going to do is just mark that and that. And hopefully that'll help me out. Just a little bit. Kind of does, kind of doesn't. <laughs> uh, let's see if it was there. Let's put this back over here. Either way, it's the underpiece, so it doesn't really matter. I'll fix it, and if there's, if there's a little bit sticking out, I will just um, cut it off, right? You know what I'm saying? If it needs to be a little bit left or a little bit right for it to work, we'll make it work. Okay. So I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get that settled. I'm going to run that through, and we'll have that. And then I think we're going to start putting some things together. Um, in the meantime, I'm also going to glue things together. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these. And glue around the edge, a little bit in the center. I'm going to cover most of this up, so I'll put some glue there in the center, you know, as best we can. Glue these guys together again on the edge, maybe a little bit of glue in the little squiggly areas, <laughs> okay? And um, anything that needs to be layered up, I will go ahead and glue together. So when we come back, we have our pieces. Okay, I was just going to say, oh, hey, not bad, guys. Check it out. So yeah, I just marked the edge, but at the same time, let's say it was a little bit this way or something, or you know what I'm saying, when I went to set it down, all I would do is line it up, and if some of the white paper stuck out, I would just snip it off, right? Because, you know, you have this whole area in the background. I think I'm going to glue this down completely. I was wondering, like, should I glue it, or should I just kind of pop it up? But if you want to pop it up a little bit, you know, that's very cute. However you want. But I'll be back. roller pieces. We have our little accent pieces ready. Before I keep moving on, um... Those little hexagons and then of course the base piece uh, it does say that they need you to cut a piece of paper the one that you know it's got your little message that rolls out so i got a piece of printer paper here and it says it should be eight and a half by 13 centimeters so if we look at this and we look at eight and a half <laughs> eight and a half is you know let me see what that was roughly and not numbers that are metric <laughs> uh one two three like three and three eighths inch, so I said eight and a half, so that's three and three eighths of an inch by thirteen. Three and three eighths of an inch by one, two, three, four, five, and an eighth. <laughs> so three and three eighths by five and an eighth is what I'm going to cut this piece of paper to. Okay, three and three eighths inch by five and an eighth. I'll be right back. So three and three eighths inch by five and an eighth. Of course, if you want to do like three and a half by five, I'm sure it's not the biggest deal. It says roughly. Um, and then I'm just going to stamp a little message, or one of the stamp uh, sentiments here. And of course, I put, yeah, I was like, I kept it close because I knew I still needed it. Um, oh, these are so cute. Let's do you're my type of friend. Now, of course, you can write a whole letter on this, right? I mean, that's a really good, whatever it is you want to write. I would do that first before I would attach it is the only thing I'm thinking here. And I'm just going to use some VersaFine ink right quick. And I'm just going to do this, and if it's not quite... And I don't know that I want it that, maybe down here, so I don't know how far in the paper goes or whatever, but, oh, you're my type of friend. And then you can write whatever else. Get that going. Let me clean this up, put this away, and I will be right back. Okay, so as I'm reading this, this is the technical part, guys. <laughs> so um, we're basically on step five, even though, you know, I cut all the 
um, pretty bits here. And we're going to take this guy, and basically we're going to hear this in here. Just want to make sure. Okay, I don't think it matters where, but just want to make sure this is a nice shape. Nice little hexagon. And these little bits are kind of facing in because what's going to happen is when we put them through our base, we're going to flare them out. So you can leave those the way they are. And again, we're just going to glue this on one of these areas here. <clears throat> and it says this needs to happen before you do the other thing. And I probably should have put the glue on the paper because I think that'd be easier. But in the picture, they have it on there. But look at that. I almost, almost got it right on. <laughs> so I'm going to let this set up. And I used typing paper. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. But I'm sure cardstock or maybe a lighter weight cardstock would be great. And then it says uh, the tabs on either end of the outer two. Oh, well, we haven't, we're not done yet. <laughs> so we got this on here. This then needs to be placed inside the outer two before inserting the typer. So then we have this. Again, it has that little tab part. It has, you know, that we had cut off earlier. And I was like, I think it'll help keep it in. But, you know, do you want that facing back? you want that part up front here it's whatever you want it's not gonna be visible anyway I just want to see like if it'd be helpful this way or is it more helpful I think it's helpful this way or you want to do it this way <laughs> and so when you wind it it's kind of helping push it up whatever you want it doesn't really matter that's why I was like I don't know why they left the tab side because um, I don't know that it completely 100% matters but we're popping this in here we're not doing anything funky right now with it just putting it in there and now we're going to bring over our base. And the reason I have everything ready is because I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down. But I want to see where this needs to be. Okay, I'm definitely going to add this part afterwards. That's kind of why I went ahead and did the, the decorative part. Because I wasn't sure if it goes on first or later. But um, that's a tough one, actually. Oh, you know what? We can stick it under the knob. Okay. Okay. I just answered my own question. Because when this comes through here... This hexagon is going to help us hold it in place, okay? But you're also, that's going to go through here, and all these little bits, well, it'll be easier later. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so this goes through here, and then this is going to hold it, and then you're going to stick your knob to this part. So, theoretically, there should be a little gap underneath where you can stick this portion but what if it's not? What if it's not as easy to do? What if I should do it right now? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the decorations. And for next time, if that's not a good idea, then I'll know. Then I will know. Because what if you do it too tight and then you can't stick this in there anymore, you know? So let me get that. Oh, okay. Maybe we should put it on the right side, huh? All right. Just going to go here. It looks like it goes right in there. Now you can see how close it is. And to me, I would think, oh, I need to cover that hexagon. But no, the, the hexagon has to be showing that black part. You know, the other portion has to be showing with the little tabs because that's how you stick the knob to it. So you don't want to cover it up with this. And that's kind of what I was wondering. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one on here. I'm going to stick this one on this side. Um, and I'll be right back. I have those on. A few other pieces that are decorative I'm going to stick on now. Again, we can put that little plate that says, like, hello, friend, or whatever sentiments they have. Now when you go to stick this down, remember it goes like this, right? So we want to stick this down correctly. Now it can be glued completely down. You can pop it up a little bit. You know, whatever it is that you want. However you want this to look. So I'm just trying to see where these pieces kind of are going to be going. I'm probably just going to glue it down for today. But if you want to give it some dimension, pop them up. So cute. And then this guy. And really that key area, I probably should have, where the key, um, this, we could have done silver or like a gray or something because generally the keys are those colors, right? But I just want to stay within the theme of what I have going. If you want to make it look a little more realistic, you can definitely do that. <laughs> so cute. And here we go. And I'm just placing that there. And then we have this pretty little piece. Now, let me pay attention to where this piece goes as far as the direction, because it can go either way, in my opinion. Um, so they have the paper coming out of it right here. 
Okay, that makes sense because see how the opening is kind of thin there. I have a bag from the Dollar Tree next to me that I can hear is moving. Like it got adjusted, so it's going and it's distracting me. Okay, they had it like this. Ooh, hold on. All right, there we go. And I'll hold it there, just making sure we've cleared that center, the opening. I don't know. I know it's hard to see probably on camera, but there's the opening for our paper. And let me think if there's anything else I wanted to add right now. We have the back piece. I mean, we can add it right now. Why not? And then um, the other thing they're showing in this step is that you can add the little tabs. And we'll talk about that in just a minute, but let me stick this down. This thing, I mean, this... <laughs> Honestly, it works up so fast because it's only a few decorative pieces, right? And then everything else is just kind of pops into place. Look at that sweetie already. Oh my gosh. Um, these little guys. So I'll get them going. We can stick those on later. It's not the biggest deal, but um, I'm assuming they're saying that. So that right now that it's open because we're going to close it up, right? So it's easier to attach that little tab while it's open. So I'm going to cut those out and I think I'm just going to use... We can use this paper. That piece is kind of small, and look at this little little leftover I have here. So it's this piece right here with little holes, and that's so you can close it up all cute. So yeah, I can definitely run that through and then over here too. So I'll be right Move back. the instructions over just so it can be maybe a little clearer so you can see what we're doing. And so these little guys, again, uh, only this portion of it's going to show. So it's a bummer that it's slick here. And honestly, I, I was thinking about that. I should use like a... Um, a nail buffer you can just rough it up since it's not going to show anyway and that helps this set up faster without having to kind of babysit it so i can come back in a couple minutes sometimes and it'll still be <laughs> wet because of that slick surface you can see some came out right here so pretty part facing out of course and then this is going to like tab like this see there goes the bag <laughs> i can just hear it crinkling 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 um and then this one's going to be over here so what i'm going to do is kind of go like that put some glue and just so I know that it's a little bit better lined up, I'm going to put those together and bring this over here. And I'm just going to let that set for just a second. And hopefully it grabs on. We'll see. Nope. See? <laughs> I'll tell you guys, this glue. Uh, not the glue, it's the uh, paper. Let's do that. And let me put my hand underneath, I guess, and grab it. That way, there we go. I just put my finger in there and I'll pinch that. Hold that for a second, and then we're going to get it, just put it together. This is, oh my gosh, I haven't done the handles yet, guys. But I did that on purpose because I didn't want to get to that part yet. Look at this. So we have this guy. We have this guy. What's interesting about this is that this is going to stay on the inside like this, right? So let's go ahead and push those out. Again, I like to push them out, but in a way that um, it's still kind of coming forward so we can plug it in there. And honestly, I'll probably stick one side down and then come to get the other because I don't think there's much point in, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, you know what? Actually, you do want to make sure. Hmm. I never thought about that part. Like, this is facing up, of course, but, uh, like, can it face up? If it was over here, would that still work? The paper would be kind of facing back. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to put that facing up a little bit. I think I'm going to do this before I use the other one. Like, what's the point of holding everything together, right, and kind of fighting with it? So I'm going to put some glue here. And this is on the inside, like in here. And it does say, um, the tabs on either end of the outer tube need to be secured inside the typewriter. The tabs should surround the circular cuts on both sides. So basically like this, and that's probably why they said to leave that tab. You know what I'm saying? Because it kind of helps bring that a little bit. So basically right here. And I'm not putting the other thing in there just because right now I just want to hold this and not be worried about it. So let's make sure that this is covering the circle. I'm going to hold that down. Sorry, my hand's totally in the way, but I'm holding it down right here. And then I'll take a peek and make sure that it's uh, cleared that circle, right? You know, because right now we're kind of doing this willy-nilly. On the outside, I want to make sure that it's okay. Maybe I should start one spot. Maybe I should start in one spot, like right here. I'm going to start with this one. 
looking on the outside I can see it's right on the edge right I don't know if you can see that so I'll hold these two down until they stick and then I'll kind of work around to the other ones I think that's a good idea so let's hold that for a minute and once I have those I can kind of oh you know what? I can see right in here what's going on if I look right in the tube and of course you're trying to get it nice and circular so I'm just I don't know if you can see straight down that tube I can see where the edges are and that that looks good and keep holding it and then the last one would be this guy to bring it in bring it in bring it in okay now it doesn't say to completely make a tube but it says the tabs should surround the circular cuts on both sides all right I'm gonna let that set up for just a little bit before we manipulate this other side but I am going to go ahead and flatten that out so basically this one's going to touch to this one over here right but since we have our paper on there we do need to slide this in here for now let me get these little tabs in here make that a little more rounded and that's gonna stick out the other side that is so cute <laughs> just when it works you're like oh okay cool you know um, and then this side we're gonna stick down and since we have the other one already going it really helps this the shape of this side right so if I can push this through a little more as much as I can that would be great you know up to the paper just to get it more out of the way so when I put glue on this side I can work that pretty easily I'll tell you this is what I would call the technical part but we're gonna bring this here and I'm holding it like a taco for some reason <laughs> and I just layered that in there so I can see this little bar sticking out and that should do it guys so I'm gonna hold it just like this like literally keep it pressed against those tabs so I'm pressing from the outside once I feel like it's set up pretty good I'm gonna let this go and then I'll um, make sure I massage each little tab like I like to do what I mean is like actually come in here and give them a little squeeze in the back here but for now, just pushing against the tabs, I think is going to help. So I can't even pause the video <laughs> yet. <laughs> Maybe I can. Here I can. Here we go. There we go. Actually, it's already kind of holding. Now I'm going to push that back in there because it kind of helps it actually open up. But, um, yeah. Oh, everything's already kind of holding. Good. Again, that porous paper just makes such a difference. I'm still going to let it set up before we move on, but I will be right back. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So they're not quite closing up yet. They do show in the picture something like this. But obviously, we have our little tabs here. Oh, I never I never scored this one. Um, they go in here. So it feels a little bit counterintuitive. <laughs> Cute. Oh, my gosh. This part, because you're like, why would you put the tabs on the outside? Because what we're going to do is take this guy. And I'm going to put the smooth side, the side that the die cut into facing this way and the reason for that is because this is a little bit rough I don't want to have any reason that this would want to catch so what you're gonna do is oh don't let that pop through on the other side you know what I'm saying you can still go through because it's not being held quite yet is we're gonna put this on here so all the little bits go in and it says guide it through which is probably a little there we go again you know what let me push these in <laughs> that's what I had mentioned like getting these little guys kind of in there we go now it does not say to glue this down you're not gluing this hexagon because you need it <laughs> to free flow now let's get this in here and then we're gonna pull these guys out okay and before I really pull them too much what I'm going to do is put some glue and now you're gonna glue these little tabs out here <laughs> hopefully I put enough glue I can't tell on that back side because it's not facing me but I am gonna push this against um, this surface and just bring it in there straighten that out a little bit and actually I'm gonna pull it from here all I'm trying to do is get it closer like flush basically and then we're gonna hold these tabs so I'll hold these top three just holding it against that hexagon and then once I think they're holding on I'll just make sure that I didn't glue it down I know it may seem like okay good. I'm just giving you guys the uh, the info like in my head what what I'm thinking my process right as I'm working with this it's like okay so we have to do this we all do that we don't want that glued so we definitely don't want to glue it down 
Um, but it looks like I have some movement as you can see. So I will keep holding all these. It's not stuck down, so that's good. And I'll be back once they're set up. Okay, well I'm holding this. I had the idea of turning this over and just pushing against it. <laughs> kind of like we did over here. And while I do that, I can manipulate this one in. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I guess you have to find the hexagon shape. Oh, I want the nice side facing back. And it just holds on really snug, which is really nice. So, now that those are there, I'm just going to put a little glue. So I ordered a ton of Nouveau Deluxe, and it should be here today, actually, which is great, because I need it. <laughs> okay, so... Remember I had mentioned, I was like, I don't know if I was going to have enough space to stick this under later. I think you will, because there's a little give. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of give. Um, I don't know if you can kind of tell doot, 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 where it's moving up and down. So that little give will definitely make it so that you can slide that under. So again, I'm just going to hold these tabs down. Make sure they're not glued down, you know, gluing these things together underneath the hexagon. And I'll be back once it's set up. And then that's literally it. We're going to feed the paper through and finish up our decorating and add our knobs and that's it. Okay, so I think I'm good with that because then we're going to put the knobs and that'll also help hold on, you know, with the tabs and everything. So we have that. I mean, you can kind of pretend already, but we're not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue these. So we have this tab here. I'm going to work them that way because I want this to set up really nicely. So this first set of tabs that goes right to this bottom portion here, I'm going to hold on to. And then I'll go to this one and that one at the same time. Um, I would definitely close this up other than that back area, right, where if you want to place a little, little treat, a little cash, a little gift card, something like that. And I'll definitely give you the sizes of this when it's done. But I'm just going to hold these tabs until they are sticking real well and then I will be right back. Okay, that took all of another like 10 seconds but um, maybe less. So I'm going to put lots of glue on there. Oopsie, I'm putting it not where I want it. <laughs> Did not want glue all the, out here. And I'm going to bring this down. This is going to go up like this. So just make sure we have that. Uh, you know, should we stick this and that at the same time? I'm trying to think if I should uh, what I'm going to do is bring this paper through here before I even start with that. So that little opening that we have. Okay, you were coming through and then you said forget it. <laughs> right there. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and give these a uh, glue at the same time. Like put glue on this side tab, glue on this one too. That seems like the best thing to do. Yep, I'm going to hold this, kind of push it against. Again, whenever you have them flaring out, it just kind of helps you with that. Glue tabs that are kind of pushed out. So I'm going to continue massaging that, and then when I get to here, I'll just kind of pop that on there. To there. <laughs> How cute! We're almost done. Um, so I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of massaging this, massaging these side pieces. And then I'll get to this one when I can get over there. Oh my gosh, you guys. What a fun color to have used. It's a little different than gold and it just really pops. And then we'll glue this down in just a second. But And that's it. We're just going to add our knobs on. I probably should have the knobs prepared, but I wanted to do like steps at a time that made sense to me. And that's what made sense to me. So... Let that glue dry. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to make sure this is all set up. And all we're going to do is glue that down, and then we can close it up. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can do that whole section at once. I just, you know, I'm kind of paying attention. That way I can massage pieces and keep them down without having to worry about too many areas. Now this one, flat down. And then I just want to see, as far as this, this is our little turning knob thing and I think you need four of them and the reason for that is because you want to layer two of them up on either side so um, 
I'm trying to think if I want these just to be black. I think I am going to go ahead and again they would be really cute in silver because most of the time they are like a silver color or black I guess sometimes. Uh, but I'll cut four of these out of my uh, black matte paper and I'll be right back. Oh and I'll keep holding this <laughs> on this side nice and level. Oh my gosh you guys that's it. Okay. And these guys again you know how that goes but we are facing these guys in like this. So I'm just going to score all our tabs just because I like to get those going and then we have another one that's going to lay over that and then we can put some little decorations. They have some extra pieces that we can do that with. And let me just make sure because I think <laughs> I glanced there right quick. Uh, yeah, to make your twist handles take the die cuts shown below, fold along the score lines and adhere each glue tab to its adjacent side. Um, they didn't really mention that, but you're supposed to layer one over the other clearly so you can get everything you need, right? So I already scored them all because I like to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and I'll do the same thing with the other one. And I will be right back. So you have that complete hexagon shape, right? Okay, so I'll be right back. That one done. <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, and then basically this is just to glue these into each other. So again, just put your glue tabs towards the inside. And then those big old pieces are going to glue to the little handle. So let's see. I don't know. I'm just going to bring them up. Like this one to this one. I didn't need to put glue on all of them at once, but that's what I did. <laughs> so we're going to wait um, on that. Put a little glue on that one. So I'm trying to hold a few at a time so I don't have to be here too, too long. So I got those. Make sure this guy's under where he needs to be. And then I'll get this and this guy kind of smoothly down. Okay, and I'll keep doing that, kind of holding them and then tucking like this next one and the next one, right? And the other one's already in. So I guess I could do this right now. But I really got to hold on to this. And this one's a little bit higher than the other one, so I'm going to push it in just to kind of crush it. Okay. Actually, anyway, I could just do this. And sit and wait till it's held on. And I'm just doing this to kind of perfect them. So I will be right back. I'll do the same thing with the second one. So I'm going to hold it just like this, kind of face down until it all sticks. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing with this guy. For the second one, I just want to show you I have the other one under this uh, glue here. Um, I'm just tucking those in, but as they come down, I am adding a little more glue so that these outer tabs can hold on to. And that actually helps quite a bit too. See? But again, I'll put it down here and just make sure that everything's just kind of pushed together, making a nice little shape. And then I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds till, till it holds on, right? And then we're just going to add them on. Um, I do have these other pieces that maybe these little guys. Ah, hold on. Okay. Um... I was just trying to see if this can also make a decorative piece. The little circle that came out of this, you can definitely pop on top of this if you wanted. But I have these little guys, and what I'm going to do is run them through the um, the copper mine paper. I don't want to let go of this one yet. <laughs> this guy. And I think I'm going to add some flowers from the swap guys, because um, I, they're still sitting here with me uh, until we you know, finish up the swaps. And I don't know when you're watching this video. But... Um, I think it would be cute to add some of those for the decoration. So it does come with flowers in the set there. But uh, I'm going to run this through that copper mine and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have my little pieces. I'm not going to stick those on until we're done, I think. Um, so let's see. Bring this guy over. And this is going to... I'm going to see if I have enough <laughs> of this guy. This glue is okay. It's just... I don't know. It doesn't hold on as fast in my opinion. And I cannot, I cannot stand for that. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little glue under here because I do need a little bit... And I'm putting glue like a madman on this because I really want it to hold on, obviously, and stay put and all that. And since it's kind of layered up and has all these different pieces, I just want to make sure everything 
really stays where I want it. And basically you're just going to line this up with the hexagon and stick that down. It's like exactly the same size, guys. So I'm going to hold on to that. Maybe use a tool, just make sure that they're making really good contact. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just put a ton of glue and stick it on the other one. Okay, guys. So on this one, you know, it's funny because we have this and I did that and I added this one on. And it just, I put a little bit less, like the same amount as far as all over, but like less. I think I added too much glue before. <laughs> it was too much, like, hopefully that makes sense. I put it in the same areas, just less, right? Um, and it held on pretty quickly. Again, over here, I was kind of waiting for that glue to dry and it kind of got out of hand. <laughs> have to clean that up. But... Let's go ahead and glue these guys on. I don't even know if this glue is ready to go at this point. Okay, I left it open for some reason. Bad habit. Not great. And I'm going to put this on here. How cute. And I should grab a little piece of ribbon, actually. Let me see. Do I have any? Hmm. Oh, this is cute. I'm... I moved my ribbon drawer up because I do access it often <laughs> and I had it under like way down low and then of course you know I have a basket in front of this thing behind me so I was like ah, I always had to move the basket to get the ribbon and I'm like why don't I just move that up because I had things I don't even really use higher up in the priority of the organizer so I just reach back right now and grab that real easy and once this is set up we will get our little paper going. Next time I probably will use a lightweight um, cardstock. As I was working, you know, you're kind of moving in, it was kind of twisting um, when I was trying to make sure I was hitting all the spots. And I can see that it was kind of getting stuck a little bit because the paper's so lightweight, you know. So just a light cardstock I think would be better. Okay, I'll continue holding that. And let's go ahead and close this guy up. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this ribbon. I would say this is like one eighth inch ribbon. That's skinny stuff. And I'm going to try and make a little bow just to close it up. Oh, well, I guess I should let you see inside. Um, so there's space down underneath, obviously, the roller and that goes into here. That's what your space would be as far as popping things in there. We will measure it and all that good stuff <laughs> once I roll it. Hopefully everything went well. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is this? <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can put a really long note in there. Now, obviously, if you keep rolling, you're going to suck this in. And then I guess from the inside, you can probably get it going again, you know, because I do is peek in there. But don't keep rolling it because it, it'll keep going. You know, there's nothing stopping it from continuing to roll um, again we could have added this decoration afterwards I can see that we have plenty of room on either side to just tuck it in there so you don't have to do that prior if you don't want to um, now let's see oh my gosh <laughs> you guys that is adorable and these guys line up because of the way it's done and when you put that hexagon like little nut or bolt or yeah oh nut and bolts bolts are the yeah nut here um, it keeps them so that they're the same you know what I'm saying? You don't have one like weird and the other one's a little bit this way. Like it's going to keep them exactly the same. So I'm, I'm telling you, they're just genius over there. I, I couldn't even think of something so far ahead or how to make that work, you know? But anyway. Um, okay, so we have all those other pieces again, these other dies that we have for you. I mean, there's just different ways you can layer up and put something pretty back there. I don't know that I'm going to do that quite yet because I don't know what I want this uh for like what kind of gift or for who and all that so I did mention that we would look at that but I'm not gonna do that today oh and then we have that little piece in the front oh man mm, you're my type of friend happy birthday which is very cute uh, just a note oh let's do just a note so to finish it off I'm going to roll this through oh we didn't even put our little register thing okay um, our little return uh, I'm gonna cut two of these out look at this Oh, let's see if I have just enough. Just enough for just a note. <laughs> How funny. Look at that. So I'm going to cut two of these guys out because we're going to... Or not two of that one. Two of the thing that makes that, but you need one of each. Hold on. 
So two of these guys, and then I need the die, this die. So the die that goes for that, if you want to put something on the front, is tucked in here. See, this guy? So we got to put those guys together. Oh my goodness, I was like, oh, wrapping it up. We still have a few other little cuteness to add. Okay, I'm going to run that through. I'll probably run it through the marquee, and I'll be right back. Oh. So I'm just going to glue these guys together clearly. Oh, look at that. Just a note. Oh, so sweet. And I'm just going to glue that down again. If you want dimension, you can definitely put dimensionals on that. I'm just going to pop this right here. So cute. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that there's like this little... Um, piece that just does a an inlay but it cuts its own edge out so as you can see this came from that other piece right but if you want this other one this guy goes all the length and it's just a little bit smaller where this one takes up the whole edge I don't know how to explain that oh maybe I didn't notice I mentioned it when I was showing it but okay and then these two guys I'm just gonna glue together okay so one and the other and what's nice about having the two again it makes it sturdier but also um, when you're using single-sided paper like this it's gonna look really nice on both sides so I'm just gonna glue that together and once it holds up because I'm sure I'm gonna have to hold it for a little bit because this is slick I am just going to put it over here and like we're just gonna stick it like in here <laughs> that is so cute I just don't know how far in I want to put that because, you know, I don't want it to get damaged even though it's nice and sturdy. So something like in there. And again, I'm going to hold that for a minute. So I'm putting it quite quite a ways in. <laughs> I'll be back. So, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I'll probably do a little cheat. And I have these flowers and I was looking, I think these would be the best with the colorway. Um, these are, I think, from Denise. That would be Denise Sparts. Let's make sure. <laughs> yes, Denise in sunny Arizona. Um, I don't know, I just think it's going to be very lovely. Now, of course, I want my um, mechanism to work, so I'm not going to put anything in the way that's going to stop that from working. But let's see if... Oh, these are so pretty. I was going to go with the yellow. You know, I feel like I can just like maybe stick something like right there. I don't know if that's going to be it. Maybe that guy, just because, you know, I can hot glue gun him right there, and that'll be great. Or, I mean, you can add a little something else up here. Another one here. She has some with sprigs. I don't want anything to make it so I can't use my little... If I glue this here, I would... Again, I'm a hot glue. I would put that on there. Hmm. Try to debate. Or should I use the same ones? Those are two different styles of flowers, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Let me see what she has in here as far as leaves go. And so I was hoping that this is what I would do, and you know, I was uh, with the ephemera folders and other things, is like bring them out to, um, well, you know, she has this other one here. Uh, I can't put a whole other sprig again, so I would have to put something like this. Maybe up here. Oh yeah, because it's not going to interfere with anything, and it's just out of the way. So I'm going to fire my hot glue gun and get that glued on there and that glued on there. And I think that looks really, really sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that helped you out to know um, how to put this together. I am going to put these to the side for a second, though, because I said I would measure this, didn't I? Oh my gosh. This is too cute. Uh, at the very base, I guess we can look at that, is like four and a quarter by four and an eighth right so four and a quarter by four and an eighth and at the highest point it is like two and a quarter inches deep but you know that roller is in there so i would say the the highest that you can put something in there is like one and an eighth or so and then it gets a little bit narrower up here super cute thanks for watching guys thank you so much uh, yeah, for so everything thanks so much for watching i'll have the links in the description box and um pictures coming up and i will see you guys at the next one that was really fun that what am i doing I'm putting these over here, and this is supposed to go over here. Um, first time doing something with that little roller, I think. I don't think I've ever tried it. Like I said, I've seen other products that Tonic had before that sold out that I never got to play with. But i um, really happy to have this. And I'll see you guys. You're my type of friend. Da -da -da -da. Everything else you're writing, I mean, how cute. Well, you know, 
the typing paper is okay. Like, I just wanted it to be typing paper. But I think, you know, lightweight um, cardstock would also be great. But, alright guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.